Frank was is, is kind of one of those unsung heroes. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that for the seven years that I've been here, behind the scenes, he has opened more doors for this college. Um, he's done it with passion. He was an advocate, as, as a board chair and as board members should be, um, for higher education, always fighting to get every dollar he could for higher education, for CCRI, the university, and the college. Judge Caprio worked hard to get his college degree and his law degree, and he obviously a very, very successful. Uh, but he wanted that uh, for everyone in Rhode Island. You know, my dad came to this country as a very young man, and he became a fruit peddler. And he only went as far as the fifth grade. So he had a hope and a vision that his children would do a lot better than, than he did or his family did in life. I was the first one to go on to college, but it was because my dad instilled in me at a very young age this command almost that you have to go on to school. He's a true champion of education. As they say, you know, you never forget your roots, and Frank's roots are, are deep within Rhode Island. His passion for this college, he understands what it does and how it helps young people achieve their dreams. And he knew how important for young people higher education was. Uh, he knew it because he lived it. And what I tell them is it's not only for you, but it's for your children. And what kind of a life do you want your children or your wife or your grandchildren to lead? And if you set the example, you know, then they will follow. So to give them a hope and a vision for the future is why they should get an education. That's a board uh, that I really enjoyed being a part of, being vice chairman with Chairman Caprio. It's a, an experience I'll never forget. And the first thing people usually think of is bricks and mortar. Because while we were there, you know, we perhaps built, I think it was over four or five hundred million dollars worth of, of new buildings. We would not be in the condition we're in today if it wasn't for Frank Caprio. Um, his ability to help sway the governor and legislators uh, in helping us achieve our mission is nothing short of outstanding. The collegiality among the board members was, I think, second to none. I don't think I've ever served on a board that had that kind of spirit and uh, focus. And I think that's critical for higher education. Because of that position, I had access to young people and just to talk to them and give them hope and get them to go on to college. So I get letters constantly from young people who say, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me the opportunity, for, for giving me the uh, incentive to go, uh, for writing me a letter of recommendation. Just the success of young people that I encouraged to go on to college or to go to the community college who went and were successful. I just derive such great pleasure in that. He had a particular uh, joy in attending uh, CCRI graduations. And I think any board member would have the same reaction. You have a, a breath of life and experience at a community college graduation that you don't have anywhere else because you have uh, people from all walks of life, all ages, all circumstances, sitting in the same gymnasium, auditorium all having achieved the same thing at different times in their lives, under different circumstances. And the, the joy in their eyes and their faces was something that I think Judge Caprio relished. Quite frankly, this is a, a wonderful way to say thank you back to Frank for all his contributions to education, but most importantly to the Community College of Rhode Island, and even more importantly to me personally. <laughs>